Hey everyone, I'm doing a follow up on that uh, Lincoln Weldon Power AC DC uh, gas powered uh, Weller generator. It had an issue with the slip ring uh, snapped and popped off the armature. So I'm just doing a follow up now on where I am with that. And what's going on is the on the last video I, I stopped and I showed that the slip ring um, was being held by uh, epoxy and with a clamp on it and tried to cure. When I did that, the um, after the following day I came back, I had a light on to let it cure overnight. Lo and behold, the light bulb burned out and I had no uh, heat on it. So it was still a little on the spongy side. So I put a bulb in, <laughs> went to lunch, let the thing cure some more, and uh, came back, took the clamp off, uh, and then spun it over. When I spun it over, I noticed that the, um, if you looked at the top of the brass and you watched it run out, the thing was moving up and down a good 90 thou. I'm like, oh, I had something wrong. Plus the gap where the crack was, was, it was open fairly well. You would can tell like that the clamp over it. Um, anyway, I, I put it on and, uh, I actually ran it with that. You know, the brushes were bouncing up real bad, but I was able to plug something into it and I had power. I'm like, ah, oh, great. Well, at least if I know if I get it fixed, uh, everything will be all set to go. So I uh, moved on, uh, tapped it back off again, got it off, cleaned all the cement off, and big pain in the ass because you got no room in there. I'm sitting with a, uh, a razor blade knife, uh, cleaning off the armature and cleaning off the, um, the uh, brass ring from the inside. And, uh, tried it again. This time I went uh, for a different cement. I went with, um, uh, instead of the JB Weld, <clears throat> I went with this, uh, this Devcon, like, five minute cure epoxy. Uh, instead of, like, this stuff was 15 hours, it said. So, I tried this stuff, and I got it to go on there, but what happened was, and I'll show you on a drawing, what happened was, um, I started it up, and it was running good, it was real smooth, and, and it was real centered, but the brass ring kind of had like a preload. It, it wanted to pop open, um, and if that's exactly what it did, as soon as it ran a little bit, just vibrated, vibrated itself open to where that little gap was coming around. Well, the brushes were sitting right here, so every time this kind of came around, it was clipping, you know, banging the brushes pretty good and causing the, the brushes to bounce. That blue, uh, blue flame was coming off about that far, so I quickly shut it down and want to trash the brushes. Um, so I had to try to come up with a different solution. So here's the solution that I came up with. I took, uh, zoom in on that. Oh, not that close. Okay. If you look, you can see those, there's two brass screws sticking out of there. What I did was, right here, the difference between here and here is about a half inch, and then they sit on this black plastic fiberglass combination insulator, I guess I call it. So I drilled two 630 seconds, let me back up. I put a hose clamp on this side and a hose clamp on this side and I left the center exposed, but it was, I had it all closed down right where I wanted and had the gap in the center closed up. Uh, then drilled two, with real long drill bits because it's hard to get in here, uh, two uh, 630 seconds um, tap size holes, uh, which was the number 35 bit. but. Um, after that, I went larger on the brass itself to the point where the screws could fit through the brass. And then I took a quarter inch drill bit just to uh, uh, open up the, the top of, of them so that the screws could actually fit down inside them. And they're the, the uh, stole bolt screws, I guess you call them. Um, so again, it was all cleaned up again. I slid it over, uh, got the third type of real strong epoxy. It was uh, even stronger than the one last one I just showed you and put it all back together, put cement down where the two holes were, and um, cemented the, the whole center all the way around, put the two clamps on it, put the light on it, and I let it set overnight again also. Uh, this morning, um, the, you know, the screws weren't perfect, of course. They were sitting on a, on a out probably, uh, I don't know, 30,000, something like that. I'm proud of the, the top of the, the slip ring. So I uh, took the spark plug out of the machine, and I took emery paper, back out again. Oh, wrong way. So, okay. so I went and I took uh, some emery paper and I wrapped it right around and I held the emery paper out here and uh, with my other hand uh, 
cranked it with just a starter going, uh, but with no plug in it, so it would probably run it, spin it like you know, 200 RPM. I just kept polishing it back and forth so I got a real smooth finish, and um, you can't really tell on that, but if you run your finger over there, you really can't even feel, feel where those screws are. And I figured the material would be all the same, so it kind of be a good deal. So I got that smooth, cleaned them up, uh, resoldered the wire, going back to it again. Uh, kind of see right there. That glob of solder, the stuff next to it is just kind of like an epoxy that's in a channel that uh, they glued the wire down uh, so it didn't pop up and so it bubbled out a little bit, but it's not hurting anything. So that's all together and uh, got her all squared away. Let's see what we get. Put her on, see if we need to choke. <laughs> So I may have kicked my ass a little bit more than I wanted to, but uh, I think I won. So I'm gonna go put the uh, cover back on it. I banged a bunch of dents out of that. The gas tank's kind of trashy. Um, I'm gonna look for one off of a tractor. Uh, a lot of the old tractors run the metal gas tank uh, right in front of the steering wheel. So I'll try to find one of those to clean it up. And the other thing is I wanna come off the two sides of it with stanchions coming up and uh, like uh, lawnmower front wheel rims to hang the hose on. I hate when you hang them on the front of here because then you can't access anything on the front. So that's where we are. Uh, unfortunately, I can't get to the rims because of uh, everything is covered in snow. There is uh, literally two feet of snow outside. And everything's got little roads to it. And my stash is buried all under the uh, the mongoloid of snow so I'm gonna have to wait till a thaw to find those and finish it but uh, it's up and running and it makes power and uh, I think I'm gonna be good to go well thanks for watching and uh, if you like what you see subscribe thank you